Hey YouTube, Scott here again with the Esheen Wizard X220. Uh, remember last time I showed you how the lost buzzer works as far as when your quad is hopefully not lost, but if it does get lost, then you can uh, have this thing turned on to locate it. But I also found out that this lost buzzer also works as a fail safe. So if your transmitter gets disconnected, it will start to go off. So if you lose connection, you go too far and it drops, it automatically will go off. And it also acts as a uh, low battery voltage. You know how everybody likes to use this or has to use this low battery voltage meter and put it someplace on their quad. And sometimes it's just an inconvenience. Well, this little buzzer does the same thing. The only thing that we have to do now is you see that VBAT connection right down here. If we can zoom in there. Those need to be connected. This is the flight board. Now it needs to be connected from the power distribution board underneath and soldered to the flight board V battery here so that that will give telemetry to your quad and to beta flight, which is what I'm using. And so you'll go ahead and you'll be able to set up beta flight with the parameters that you want to have the low battery voltage go off. And what we're going to need to do, I don't know if I can get light down here. Uh -oh. Okay, anything that says 12 volts down there or even where the ESCs are connected, you can use to actually uh, solder and connect from those, from the power distribution board up back to this voltage battery. Got to get less in there. Let's see. Check. There we go. The VBAT meter. You need to get the power distribution board to this meter in order to get this buzzer to work and to eliminate having to use a voltage uh, meter on the outside of your quad, which is an inconvenience and looks stupid. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes and we'll go from there. All right, Scott signing out. And so the second part of connecting the uh, battery bolt, battery uh, voltage meter from the power distribution board up to the flight controller, uh, there it is, the VBAT is now connected to the uh, power distribution board underneath. I have it soldered to uh, positive and negative terminals of an EC ESC. And now if we go back into beta flight, you will see that the actual voltage is being read too. Right over here, it is being read as 12.4 volts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, well I've just changed it, I'm gonna set the minimum cell voltage to 3.3 and the warning cell 0.2 higher which is uh, 3.5 and this will continue to change and so I'm going to save and reboot now that's done so there you have it I now have not only a lost buzzer for the uh, Ishin wizard but also a fail safe now so if it loses transmission from the tra from the transmitter it'll automatically go off and if the voltage goes below 3.5 on any of the cells the warning will go off you'll get I'll get like two beeps I don't know every two seconds and then all of a sudden it'll go constant and constant constant once, once it goes constant that's when I shut it off uh, hopefully I can get a demo of that for you this evening and post that anyway hope you enjoyed if you have any questions uh, comments leave a Leave it in the description below. Don't forget to like and, and subscribe. And also, uh, if you wish to join my Esheen uh, Facebook page, is Esheen and Real ACC X210. So, if you want to join that Facebook page, the links on the bottom as well. And we can get together. And you know, if you want to build your own quads, I'm kind of new at this, but uh, I'm learning fast from what I've learned on YouTube. So, if you're interested, go ahead and join our Facebook group. And get some input and I'm also looking for some moderators too to help out that know more than I do because obviously most of you do so take care and I'll talk to you soon okay YouTube Scott here again I'm now back with the Esheen wizard and we have done all the soldering that we needed to do and hooked it up to beta flight and did a configuration for the uh, battery low battery voltage so we're kind of at the end of uh, the flight here. Before I would need to use this battery bolt voltmeter 
Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's bulky. It takes up room. I could do without it. So it's at the end of the flight, and we're going to see if the actual little battery warning works too, as well as the LEDs that I put on and the lost buzzer. Also going to add failsafe onto this as well. I just need to install it with a clean flight or beta flight. And what would happen is once you hit the receiver and it goes off or loses contact, then the fail-safe buzzer will go off as well. It does that on my other quad. I just forgot to set it up on this one. But remember that uh, I told you if, it, if you lose signal with it, boom, you'll find it. This works. Now let's see if the low battery works. Okay. Take off and fly off a little bit. I have it set for 3.5 volts to start doing a warning and 3.3 it'll completely come down. There we go. There's one warning. That's kind of a warning that we are getting low. But we're looking for the continuous beat. close to it. Okay, there it is. That is our low battery warning right there. The continuous use means it's time to come down. So there you have it, folks. It works. If you need to know how to do this mod or you want to know, uh, just Put me up on my Facebook page, which is uh, in the link below. And Happy New Year's, everybody. Talk to you soon. Scott signing out. Successful flight. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year's, everyone.